Hi all, hope all are you doing good. My name is Saurabh Dhyani and in this particular video we will talk about Docker images for Business Central and Dynamic Snap. So if you are already following the series, uh, yesterday we installed Docker on Windows 10 machine. So before we start uh, the image discussion, we need to make sure that the Docker desktop is running. So check on your taskbar if it is running or not. Now let's understand what an image is. You can consider an image, a Docker image as a product DVD or a setup that you download from the web. Think about any software that you need it and you download it from web. In the same way, Docker images, I'll, I'll relate it to the same way as Docker images. So like let's suppose you needed Business Central you'll go to Microsoft website, you'll download the product DVD and then you can use the same DVD to install it on different either virtual machines or on physical computers. So in the same way consider images as a setup file or a executable that you're downloading from the internet. So in this video we'll understand how to download that image and as it's a it's a time consuming process and it completely depends on the internet speed that you have so what i'll do is i'll first start downloading the image that i need and then we'll go forward and discuss about what is uh, i got that from where i got that url how you can create your own uh, pull request uh, what are different parts in that particular uh, command that we are using so just for this demo I needed cumulative update 2 for business central 2020 release wave 1 which is the latest cumulative update for business central 16 and I'll be downloading it for the North American version so uh, there are multiple ways that you can download the uh, docker image from you can either download it from the command prompt or you can download it from Windows PowerShell. I like to do it from Windows PowerShell, so I'll open my Windows PowerShell and run it as administrator. Once the Windows PowerShell gets loaded, uh, you can always, as we saw yesterday, you can always say Docker and it'll show you all the commands. And we'll be using one of the commands that is available here. So let's go up and let's see. So if you see there is a docker pull which says pull a image or a repo from a registry. So we'll be using this. So the way I'll be writing it is something like this and once I start downloading this we'll talk about it more. So what I need is a docker pull for a certain version of business central and if it is not clear let me zoom in, in for you okay and we'll talk about it what's happening I'll just start this so once I start it you'll see there are uh, multiple uh, pieces of the uh, image that are being downloaded right now some are on waiting stage some are doing uh, pulling FS layer so let it happen and we'll talk about how I was actually able to you know I did copy paste it but how I was able to get this from where you can get it if you want it and how you can customize it based on for which country you want which version you want and all those things so I'll minimize this and let it happen so the first thing is for which version you can actually download a docker image so docker image are supported for all business central versions and for dynamic snap they are available for nav 2016 and higher you can't go pre 2016 and uh, from where i got that link let's talk about it so for dynamic snap let's start it from there you can go to this page called hub docker.com or microsoft dynamic snap and i'll put those link into the description of this video and at the top you'll see a docker pull command which is a generic command so let me copy it and put it on my notepad so this says docker pull microsoft slash dynamic snap and we'll see how that whole 
uh, command came which I just executed if you come here you'll see uh, what, are, what are the different tags that you can use what is a virgin what is CU what is country and then there are some examples how you do it and rest is not for this video we'll talk about it maybe in the next video for the business central on-prem you can come to this page called hub.docker.com Microsoft Business Central on-prem in the same way there is a command here which is the pull command and that command says docker pull mcr microsoft.com business central on-prem and then in the same way uh, it explains how you do it it also have the support for LT uh, SC 2016 and 2019 and we'll talk about it and these are the supported countries for business central on-prem if you come down here you can actually uh, get the full tag listing using this link I have already opened it so when you click on it you get something like this which are uh, virgin tags for each business central virgin and each version with each localization have three different tags one at the base node one at uh, LTSC 2016 and 2019 and we'll talk about it what they are and if you go down in queue you'll find for all the versions that you have from 14 15 and 16 now the last but not least is business central sandbox if you are a developer who is uh, trying to build an extension for a customer who is on business central SAS then you should be developing on a sandbox uh, docker image so in the same way we'll copy it and we'll paste it here and everything else is same at the end it says sandbox in the same way if you come down here it have all the details this page and then at the end also it have a full tag listing which will show you the same thing as we saw in the on-prem release so let's talk about decrypting that URL which I use in my PowerShell here and see what that means so to, ma to make it simple let's I'll, I'll do it for both dynamics nav and uh, business central so on dynamics nav side the first as we already saw is a docker pull which is a docker command it's not related to business central it's a docker command docker pull then next is the address which is uh, the base address of that uh, version which is in case of nav is microsoft slash dynamics nav and from where I pulled it here Microsoft slash dynamics nav so that's your base address next is in case of dynamics nav is virgin and the options are 2016 or 2017 or 2018 those are three versions for dynamics nav then the next option or the part of the tag is cumulative update which is which version uh, which cumulative update you want to use do you want to use 8 you want to use 18 you want to use 35 if it is available 25 and all and the last but not least is country so country can be a list uh, any country from the list of available countries which are available so if you go down here you'll see that it also lists down a dozen so it it's based on uh, the product where it was available so I'm pretty sure you know which country it is let's assume North America so at the end of the day the command becomes like this which is uh, docker pull Microsoft slash dynamics nav then let's assume I need 2016 so you put a colon to uh, to add the tag so first is the address docker pull then the address then a colon and then the tag now tag first part is the version that you want the second part is cumulative update and the last part is your localization 
if you want ten mark you can change it to DK and this is this will be your pull request that we just did here let's look at from the business central side the options which were in nav they are still same if you want to use them you can follow the same routine but it makes easy for me when I use uh, the actual application version and we'll talk about it so this can be on-prem or SAS as we uh, or sandbox as we saw so you can you can replace this with sandbox if you want to use a sandbox image then next is and let me remove this no color okay a version and this is your actually the application version which you can find on Microsoft website and let me take you there where you find it so and if you you know if you want to check the virgin tags you can always come to my blog and I was trying to refer to this in this case 16.2 uh, so you'll see that there is a number that you see here 13779 and when I go or the other way is that you can go to this business center link in full tag listing if I filter for 16.2 if I look for 16.2 I'll see this which is the actual whole version which is 16.2.13509.13779 uh, so I'll take that from here sorry and I'll paste it here so that becomes my app version that I need then the next is your uh, country that you want which is North America let's take the, the one that I have taken and last but not least is platform now this is not dynamic snap platform this is the platform for the server that will be part of your Docker image that you are downloading and there are two options that you have which is LTSC 2016 and LTSC 2019 which means Windows Server Core 2016 and Windows Server Core 2019 and you can read about it on the same page if you go a little bit up you will see that add LTSC 2016 to get images based on Windows Server Core 2016 or 2019 so it's up to you which you prefer I always prefer 2019 because those images are a little bit smaller in size when it comes to download so that makes it easy for me so the whole image then becomes uh, docker pull and I'll copy this mcrmicrosoft.com and after that as we did in dynamics nav a colon for the tag and then the tag 13509.13779 and then a hyphen for localization that you want and then LDSC whatever you want 2016 or 2019 so this becomes the URL that I was using and you can always do a compare with the command that I wrote in my uh, PowerShell window which is docker pull mcr microsoft.com business central on-prem and then the version uh, localization and the server core so what will eventually happen it will take some time but it will get downloaded once it get downloaded we'll come back again tomorrow and we'll talk about containers but during uh, while you are using business central uh, images or container if you get into a problem and if you are stuck somewhere you can always come to uh, Microsoft github which talks about nav docker issues so if you have an issue come and create a issue here so that people from Microsoft and other people from community can actually help you so I hope that makes sense I'll make sure that I put all these links that we discussed today about all these images for Dynamics Nav Business Central on-prem uh, Business Central Sandbox into the description section uh,
thank you for recommending or suggesting that we, I need to do a video about it because I have written about it maybe two years ago and I thought you know that's more or less everybody understands it but thank you who all suggested that they needed a video on docker images if you have any other thoughts please put it on the comment section and I'll come back tomorrow we'll talk about docker containers how you build them what are par what all parameters are there how you define them and w what means by what parameter what information you need to save what is not important so please put your comments and let me know how you feel about this video thank you for today see you next time